Hi guys, I'm Ellie from the blog Manch Pixie and today I'm going to do a what's in my bag video. Now this is my first video on YouTube. I write the Manch Pixie blog which is down here. Um, just down there, that little bit. Um, and I just thought I'd experiment with a few YouTube videos. Um, just to say before I start, Number one, I've got a cold, so please excuse my really attractive sniffles. Number two, I'm just doing this on my MacBook, so the lighting's quite weird and the quality won't be perfect, but I just wanted to experiment. Um, and number three, um, I have chipped nails a bit, so please excuse them if you catch them at all. Um, but I'll replace them later and I can't bother to do that. So, on with the video. Um, this is my bag, it's from New Look, um, nice kind of two-tone pastel coloured one. Um, I really liked the clutches that I've been seeing around of these kind of two-tone pastel coloured ones but I um, couldn't really justify another clutch, I don't use them that much and I thought this one was a nice alternative. Um, I've literally just picked up my bag from well, I've just come back from the shops because I need to do a few errands. Um, yeah, not very well, so kind of just been spending the day in bed, but um, I popped out, so just got a few things in here um, that I usually take around with me. Um, and like the last time I went out was to see my best friend on Monday, so the contents hasn't really changed from there. So I haven't like put anything in, I'm not trying to create what I don't have. This is literally just me so um yeah i really liked this bag and like the detailing there in the front pocket and the way it hangs um it's not real leather but um it was quite cheap i usually like real leather things but um i really liked this so i kind of been using it from for most of the time recently even though oh, as a rule i kind of swap my bags around from day to day I haven't for a while, which shows that it's a winner. Now, I'll show you what's in the front pocket first. Oh, I just bashed my phone. Um, I've got my Oyster card holder, which is floral. Um, it's from eBay, but it says on here, oystershells.co.uk. So that must have been the shop that I got it from on eBay. Um, I really like floral things. Um, most of the stuff I own is floral. But um, I've kind of been turning it down for the past year or so, but this I really liked and I wanted a new floral edition, floral edition to my everyday stuff. And oh, sorry, um, in here is my Oyster card and my 16 to 25 rail card, um, which just gets me discount on British rails, British trains. Can't think today, the cold. Don't know why I chose today to do this, but I did. I just wanted to have it done, so yeah. I'm trying to make this less than 15 minutes as well, because I like to talk. Um, so the first thing I've pulled out of my main pocket of my bag is my book, which is Sebastian Falk's Human Traces. Ooh, get the angle on that there, there we go. Um, which is kind of about the mentally ill and how ideas on that involved in the 1900s, late 1800s, mixed in with a bit of a love story and stuff. Um, I'm really enjoying it so far. My mum said she didn't, but I am, and I'm sure there'll be a review when I've finished in like next month or two, because I've kind of got a backlog of books I want to review, but I often do book reviews pixie review on anything in my blog so look out for them and uh, the next thing I'm putting out is my little makeup bag I have a main makeup bag um, with all my kind of staple favourite product products of the moment which sits by my mirror but I kind of just chuck in from day to day things that um, I think I might need just to touch up not that I touch up that much but um, I kind of forget but <laughs> just kind of check in a few bits and at the moment I've got lasting finish or something like that collection 2000 concealer but 
I seem to always rub like the names and stuff off products. Um, I don't know if anyone else does this or if it's just me. Um, so the name's all gone. And it's the same with my number seven extravagant lashes mascara. All gone. It smells like fish, but I like big wanded mascaras. Um, I will be doing like a big review or several kind of posts and stuff on all my makeup because I've never done that before. Um, so I'll be doing that pretty soon. So look out for that. And that's my makeup bag that I carry around. Um, this is my phone which I've pressed. Um, it's a Blackberry. It's sellotaped together at the moment. Um, it's just got like a night sky thing. It's really old. I really want an iPhone. And as soon as I get my first paycheck for my new job, um, I will be able to buy one. <laughs> Next thing, tissues. Um, this is like just a holder. It's another floral thing that's really old. It came with my makeup bag, which is in this pattern. Um, but it did have like a mirror in it. But I just because I carry around tissues, um, and I often use them because I've got really sensitive eyes. So um, if like I end up crying, with like just because of the air or whatever, which happens all the time. Dab a tissue, but I don't want to throw the whole thing away, so I keep it in here. That's that. Um, that's a Sainsbury's receipt. I got a bit confused about that for a second. Because um, I just went to Sainsbury's to buy lots of chocolate. Because <laughs> my mum told me to have a walk, because I've been stuck in the house because I'm ill. But this is like a brand match thing. Um, so I get two pound, no, two pence off my next shop because apparently we didn't match up to Tesco's or Asda. Interesting. That's my car keys. And my house keys. Just a little heart. Do I want a heart? And my house keys green. <laughs> That's my Sainsbury's receipt. Lots of yummy food, which I'm gonna go and eat in a bit. Oh, this is my little bag, which I carry around kind of bits that I might need from day to day in. So you've got comb. I think I got in a cracker. It's quite a good one, just to. Neaten my hair up. Mirror. Which is meant to light up but I never put the batteries in. Oh you can see my MacBook. Wave to yourselves. Yeah, I've gone delirious. <laughs> Hand cream. It's the Kath Kidston one. It's Wild Rose. And I like to keep hand cream kind of um with my main products and then I'm by my bed and with me wherever I go because you never know when you might need it. I don't have dry hands but um it's a, a lip balm. This is a Nivea one repair. I haven't seen it around for ages so it's quite it's I know it's old but like I think it's kind of been discontinued. Um again I keep like a lip balm with me wherever I go and by my bed and with my main products. Um that was nearly finished because we're on that and that's just Rotates all the way to the top, so I'll be swapping that over soon. Hand gel, which is a Soap and Glory handmade one. It smells of like it says fresh, fruity, floral scented, which it is. And then just some like pills and stuff. Just get a headache and plasters and an alcoholic wipe because I fall over. So you never know. An umbrella in case it rained earlier. Oh, this is my baby. I would cry if I lost this. First of all, here's my oh so cute little pen, <laughs> which 
I can't, can't remember where I got it, but I used it the other day for work, well like in a work situation where I had to be quite professional and everyone laughed at me because I had a rabbit pen. Um, this is my file of facts, which I keep everything in. At the front we've got like appointment card from a hairdresser, stamps, and then like addresses, like notes of addresses and stuff in like these little pockets. Got my diary, it's got like a today tab um like lists of things to do and stuff um you know like what i'm doing day to day it's got the notes section with like things to do and like immediately in the next few weeks and then like a more of a long dated one yeah it's got a project section which has got like films to watch books to read etc so if I'm out and about and I want to remember to write up a book it'll be in there it's got an information section which has got like everyone's birthdays and tube map because I live in London um, but like South London so never know when I might have to change the route or whatever to get up to North and yes yeah, useful tab and then a financial section which has got everything I want to buy which is the fault of beauty bloggers very depressing how much I want to buy and I can't yet and then <laughs> addresses like A to Z there because I like to have everyone's addresses I'm a bit old fashioned like that and then we've got a section for business cards and stuff and then um a little pocket at the back which I've got like my bank banking key thing in. So that is my file effects. And then I think this is the last thing. It's my purse. That's well, quite a new one. Well it's very new. I just bought it recently. Well I bought it a month ago but I just swapped over like really recently. It's like Black Art Deco River Island. Now when I got it I thought it was navy. But I really like it. The popper won't stay closed. Um, what I really love is this like coral colour. That's like my pennies. Inside the back. Pop. And then it's like my card section. So we've got a debit card, my ID, my national insurance, my kind of local borough library card. And it's just donor card. Um, and some vouchers, so ones from my hairdresser to give to friends, a lush one, like all the kind of boots ones there. Um, in the middle we've got like members cards. I think that's like National Theatre and then Virgin Atlantic, because I go to the theatre quite a bit. And we've got the Virgin Atlantic ones when we went to New York. Um, because you never know when you might want your air miles and then all of my kind of shop cards so Boots, Superdrug, Tesco that I don't really use anymore, Matla I don't use anymore but you never know um, bike card which gets you like 20% off in all station refectories Subway card, Nando's card and Belgo's and that's my purse and I think that's it for what's in my bag. Um, so I hope you enjoyed that. If you did, please subscribe to my channel and I'll do a few more. I'm going to do a post on this as well, so that'll be on my blog. Um, probably won't be linked down here. I might add it when I've done it so you can kind of look at either or. Or there'll be a link to my blog anyway so you can find it. Um, I'll link my Twitter down here too, so have a look. Um, and I really hope you enjoyed it. Uh, yeah. And I'll see you all soon.